All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are, chapter three, second story work. And in the previous chapter, uh, we saw, well, I guess the previous two chapters. First chapter, we saw uh, Nathan Drake and Victor Sullivan get shot and killed. And now it rewinded back in time 20 years earlier with Nathan Drake following around Victor Sullivan as a young boy, I guess probably the age of 14 or so. And, uh, pickpocketing him, got a key to the museum to see if he can go find the ring of Sir Francis Drake. So, here we are, part three, second story work, got the key from Sully, and we need to make our way to the far building over that way. And looks like we're going to use this rope, which is a convenient rope, I mean, it's kind of random, you know, it's not really in a feasible position to like hang your clothes on like a dry line but you know whatever random rope in between two buildings maybe it's just holding the buildings together anywho all right so sir young mr drake i to make sure we got to look around for treasures and whatnot because you always want to find those anything anything what's up here Bueller, Bueller. Ah, nice glass windows. I can see you falling through those. That'd be fun. Uh, I don't see anything here. Let's. There it is. Give this ramp a whirl. Uh. Ooh. Uh. Uh. That's all right. That's all right. Let's fall oh, down. See close. what happens. What is down here? Anything of consequence besides where we need to go is, I think, in here. Yep. But. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh dear. Don't think we want to fall down there. Uh, yeah. I don't, I'm not feeling that. I'm not feeling that. Let's go ahead and get back up here. Come on, man. Climb over the, the deal. Thank you. Let's just go ahead and get our sneak on. Now, so I, I had played this chapter through. Just want to guys give you a little background here, too. I had played this chapter through, and it didn't record correctly for some reason, so we're redoing it. But there was a treasure in this little submarine guy's hands. There was also a treasure out there by that far bench. Uh, that's kind of when I, why I went over there. So that's why we did that. I'm going to look around a little bit more. See? Treasure. Boom. A golden doubloon. I missed that. See, I missed that the first time. And this is what we're looking for. Sir Francis Drake's ring. Yeah, go ahead and take this key out of my pocket. And just give it a... Yeah, let's just stick it in here and give it a... Come on, stupid key work. Ugh. Ah, look at that. Letting other people do the work and we reap the benefits. Loving it. All right. Ooh, what's this cute little thing? Man, Drake, you need to wash your shirt, buddy. Go to, go ahead, stick it on in there, man. Just give it a. Give it a let. Oh yeah, that's good. Whoa. Whoa. That's what I'm saying. Damn it, kid. Why, Victor, look who it is. The filthy little stray that made off with your wallet. This lady's a biatch. Come on, son. You haven't got a chance. Just hand it over. Victor Sullivan. Now, the ring. You like magic? What ring? <laughs> That's right. Oh! Who do you think you are, boy? You're nothing but a filthy, cast-off little beggar. You're not fit to touch these objects. What the hell do you think you're doing? He's just a kid. <laughs> Stop him! Oh, man. Scramble. 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 Holy crap! 
Holy crap. He has the ring. I have the ring. Oh, snap. Let's get out of here. Break the door down. Break the door down. Uh, oh god. Uh, He's heading for the roof. Get up these stairs quick, man. Catch him. Uh, squeeze through. Squeeze Shane, through the gate. It. Squeeze Hurry. through the gate. Let's go. You can do it, man. Uh, oh. Shit. Run away. Oh crap. Oh, crap. They're coming for me at every angle. Guys? Oh, make that jump. Oh, yes. Get off me. Keep going. Oh, another convenient ramp. Another convenient ramp. Get up. Get up. Oh, man, it's like stressing me out with all the climbing. Gotta move faster, little Nate. Oh, what the shooting at me? Are you kidding me? Get that jump, dog. Oh. oh, come on, get those. Oh, snap. They're falling. They're breaking. They're breaking. Go up. Okay. Oh, crap. This guy. This guy wants to party. Just no! No! Get off the thing. Man, all these dudes chasing around. Yeah, get him, Sully. Beat it, kid. Get out of here. Get him, Sully. Sully to the rescue. Oh, don't drop there. Don't note to self. Do not drop there. I was looking for some treasure. I saw this green deal on the pipe, and I thought maybe I was like, wink, wink, hint, hint. But it's not. not this time, kid. What? How'd that guy catch up with me? I thought I thought Sully was like whooping his ass. Apparently not. Jump! Oh, oh snap! Oh shit! Uh, 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 cinematic jump sequence! And what a pro, man! Look at these geezers! Oh crap! Oh, the fridge to the face! Excuse me, I'm coming through. Hey, guess coming it. through. Sorry about Sorry your living room. Uh, snap! Get over the thing. Look at Sully. They're chasing Sully too. Oh man, he's doing some work on these guys. I want to just grow up to be just like you, Sullivan. And jump! Oh, get off the glass, boy! Nice. This jump. Make this jump! Sweet! Oh crap! Looks Sorry, buddy. Oh yeah, pick up the gun. Yeah, Nate. Yeah. Whoops. Just shoot him, dude. Kneecaps. What are you shaking for? Kneecaps, man. It won't hurt. Just close your eyes. This won't hurt a bit. You're right. Uh. I was like, not again. Ah, oh, yeah, the man Sullivan. You're my hero, Sully. That is a big gun, brother. Come on. Brother. Okay, kid. Shaking up a bit, but my hair is still feathered and lethal. What's up? There it is. He's got the ring around his neck. Relax, kid. We're safe here. Go on. Suit yourself. You don't want it. What do you want from me? Hmm. A little gratitude would be nice. I did just save your ass back there. Thanks. But what's in it for you? I mean, you're a crook, right? <laughs> you gotta have an angle. <laughs> you are one piece of work, kid. What's your story, anyway? 
Look, mister, no offense, but I don't even know you. Easily remedied. Victor Sullivan. This would be the part where you introduce yourself. Okay. Suppose you tell me what's so special about that ring. It belongs in my family. I'm just taking it back. Passed down from Francis Drake himself. That's right. I don't know how to break this to you, kid, but Drake didn't have any heirs. No children. Well, not with his wife back in England, anyway. <laughs> okay, good point. Let me see it. Come on, kid. If I was gonna take it from you, I would have done it by now. Thank you. So, what is this? Parvis Mem Sick Parvis Magna. It means greatness from small beginnings. That was his motto. Yeah? You see, Queen Elizabeth gave it to him in 1581, when he got back to England after circumnavigating the globe. That's when she made him a knight. Well, you sure as hell didn't learn that on the streets. How's a kid your age know Latin? The nuns sort of insisted on it. Ah, uh, so like a boarding school. That's a nice word for it. Okay, then. So what was all that business with the ring and that astrolabe thing back there? Why don't you tell me? You're the one working for them. Look, kid, a client wants something, I obtain it for a price. I don't ask any questions. It's just a job. Look pretty friendly to me. Yeah, hey, well, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm fired. Okay, look. First of all, that was no astrolabe. It's some sort of decoding device. Check this out. On his way around the world, Drake sailed through the East Indies. Only he says that it took him six months to get from here to here. Yeah, so? So it doesn't add up. He was way too good a sailor for that. It would have taken him a month, tops. He was hiding something, something big. How big? Like secret mission from the queen big. Like millions in plunder treasure that hasn't ever been recovered big. That big? That big. And that decoder has something to do with it. I would bet my life on it. Oh, swell. And Marlowe's got it. Won't do her much good without the key. So it's a stalemate, then? For now. <laughs> so you still haven't told me what your name is? And you still haven't told me what you want from me. OK. Look, you got talent, but you got a lot to learn. You stick with me, and I'll teach you a few things. Thanks. But I'm doing just fine on my own. Yeah, clearly. What do you say we uh, try this again? My friends call me Sully. Nathan Drake. Nate. Drake, huh? OK. I see great things in our future, kid. Great things. <laughs> great things in our future. Oh, God. And they're dead. <laughs> Those are great things. Um, they're gone. All right, lads? What? <laughs> oh. Gotta be shitting me. Bet you were gonna put a silencer on that thing. Sorry. You got no sense of drama. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, man. Had me worrying about Nate and Sully here being Get dead. Here. <sighs> Could have pulled a couple of those punches, Charlie. What do you mean? I hardly touched you. You headbutted me. All right, all right. I got a little swept up in the moment. You were the one who said make it look realistic. Better stay on this good side. All right, Broad Ice, look sharp. They're coming your way. Don't lose them. Tricky, tricky stuff. Told you they'd take the bait. 
How long do you reckon before they realize this is a fake? Who cares? Finally flushed them out. Now we just follow them back to their hole. You do realize you make everything sound dirty. I do? 